mentors push you to be better all the time. Alright? So anybody see any benefits so far? Anybody who wants a mentor right there? I spent the first of the form years here at the Allen School. We didn't have a six farmers yet. We got it as soon as I left. I left in 2016. So Tyrell Jones is an empath, a very empathetic young person who is now interested in e-governance, uh, youth development, uh, prison reform, prisoner rehabilitation and reintegration back into society. I just have a passion for it all, anything youth related. Approaching graduation at the Allen School, I think one of the first things I said was, uh, this is the end for me, I'm going to work. Um, it was only then that the guidance counselor, Miss Lynch, she came and she brought some BCC forms and I was like, I'm not even qualified for this stuff. So I and I found myself at BCC in said 2016 uh, and I spent until 2018 there studying sociology and history and where really I thought that was the end of the road. I found myself at UE in the same 2018 for the three year social work degree and ended in 2021. Um, where really I thought that was the end of the road. I found myself in 2021 starting a master's in e-governance and I'm finishing up now. And as I look back at uh, Dr. Kevin Greenwich, Dr. Dion Greenwich, I, I certainly feel inspired and I aspire to be as good as those guys. Mentors develop leadership skills. So it says here leadership abilities like listening, compassion, taking initiative and the ability to give and receive feedback can all be developed through mentoring. Using these abilities in the relationship helps participants develop them for a career success. These soft skills are critical. So your mentor will then teach you things like how to treat others in particular situations. Just like the young lady who said that it teaches you how not to be impulsive. It teaches you patience when in, in a particular situation as well. So you may not lose your cool as quickly as you would have endured because you know that if you lose your cool, you may damage your reputation. You need to keep it together, show some compassion, show some patience, and your mentor will guide you along all the way to keep your reputation intact and to keep you going forward. Alright? Anybody agrees with that then? Certainly at the Allen School, it wasn't a very smooth ride for me. Uh, I, I would say, I would admittedly say that I kind of struggled academically here at the Allen School. Um, not because, looking back upon reflection, no, not because the work was hard, but because I just had not found my passion as yet. So Miss Jokes would tell you one of the first things she put on my report in first form was he's too mannish. I got some licks for that. But as I progressed and as I grew and as I understood what she was trying to shape me to do, she became one of my most important mentors. Um, so Allen School, it was a great foundation for me in terms of ups and downs, meeting some friends that I still have today, and some mentors like Miss Jokes that I still have today as well. Now that we've covered mentoring generally, and I promise not to be long, now that we've covered mentoring generally, can anybody tell me what they think who your mentorship is? My mentor would have to be my father because of his goals and how hard he works.
because of her outstanding leadership and because of her dominance and her militant attitude and grit. Yeah. Thank you. I was, I was very, very thankful for the invitation. Um, one of the first things I told the students is that mentorship is very important. And I think that anytime you want some direction in life, a mentor is the way to go. I told them, you know, not all are genuine, but you have to fill them out. Do your own background checks and see which mentor is best for you. I also explained to them as you develop in life that you realize you may need more than one mentor for different reasons. You may need a sports mentor, you may need an academic mentor, you may need a mentor just for general life. So I explained to them, don't be afraid to reach out and ask somebody, will you mentor me? You may have that connection that you may not even have to ask. You, you may just find yourself being a mentee of that person. But I basically taught the students about mentoring, um, mentorship, and a lot of them admitted that they don't have a mentor and they'll seek one today. I think certainly that the students were, they were taking copious notes. It was to the point I asked them, do you all have an exam? Uh, you know, because usually back in my day when you go to these sessions, you take notes because of being quizzed afterwards. They said, no, we just want to take some notes. So I think that's the first step towards leadership. Uh, taking notes of everything, even when you're not asked to do so, just for reflection and looking back purposes. Where you are now doesn't have to be where you end. And in the beginning it may seem rough, but as you find that mentor, as you find that right person who puts you on the right path, who encourages you to keep going, who helps you to find your passion. Don't just settle for a job just because you need a job. Or don't just settle for an academic degree just because you want to say you want a degree. But you need to be finding your passion and actively searching for your passion so that when you find it, you stick to it and you're doing something that you love. Indeed, I would admit, again, I struggled academically until I found out I love social work. And now I, I, I basically get all A's in social work because that's my passion. You need to be actively searching for your passion so that you don't drop the ball the minute things get hard. And that's what I would tell young people of today.